Howdy from South Texas. I'm Ryan Vaughn uh, here with Anderson Bean Boot Company in Mercedes, Texas, where we uh, hand make these cowboy boots and wanted to go through a little bit with our new uh, stock program that we've got coming out here in uh, 2011 and uh, covering a couple of the styles that we did uh, in the fall of 2011. This being number one, uh, our number one styled S1091 uh, chocolate volcano foot, which is a kind of a distressed vintage. Uh, cowhide with uh, one of our Marfilus colors. We've got a whole Marfilus collection, three new colors in the line. It's a hand brushed uh, kid skin, nice and lightweight, gives you comfort and durability, uh, but a great look, a lot of shelf appeal, a lot of pop. Uh, one of the big sellers is the sole treatment, hybrid sole, full leather sole, got nice flexibility from day one, it really removes that break in period that people worry about. Uh, Roper heel, uh, 13 inch top, good little boot. Uh, been real popular for men and ladies and uh, retailing very well. Um, another one of our marvelous collections uh, is the Distressed American Bison, tanned in uh, Milwaukee. Uh, this is our number one selling leather the past few years. Tangerine, marvelous tops, trimmed in turquoise. This sole has the Smackdown sole. This is actually conveyor belt material. Uh, very, very durable sole. A little more stiff, but you guys that like riding and working hard in the, in, in the stirrup, uh, like this boot, it gives them, gives them stability. Uh, as well as a long wearing sole. Uh, it's got a full leather sole in there as well in addition to the Smackdown sole which is sewn through. Uh, we do all our own recrafting on our boots as well so you can always send them back to us if you want to change out to a Smackdown sole from something else you've got. 13 inch tops. All these boots have removable cushion insoles. Uh, hopefully you've seen that feature in our boots before. Um, we build them just like we always do with a leather insole but we've got a removable footbed in here so it actually gives you two sizes that you can uh, if you've got this boot right here is a 10 David, um, if you've got a customer who feels like it's a little too snug, you can always pop that insole out, fits a little closer to an E or a double E width. So one size on the shelf, two fits. Um, so that's a good feature as well, and all of these boots have the removable cushion insole. Uh, this has been another good one, and again with the Marfilus collection, this is the Kiwi Marfilus on a... Um, Another one of our bison families, this is a Geronimo bison. You'll notice our signature two-tone stitching on the bug and wrinkle. This boot here just has a regular leather sole on it. Good for dancing, good for basic wear and tear. Uh, great combination, some purple stitching, purple side seam and trim. Again, Roper heel, 13-inch um, tops. Good little boot. Uh, the new boots that we released in January this year, and we're just starting to deliver them into the stores. We've got a couple new flat leather boots. Uh, this is the Briar leather. This is actually an oil tan leather. Um, Great, great bison top. Again, American tan leather, both of these are. This is genuine American bison. It's our blue jean color. Got some great texture, great durable top. Uh, something new we've kind of been playing with is shorter top stovepipes. You'll notice this is a 13 inch top with what we call the stovepipe scallop. Uh, all trimmed out in orange. This is an old vintage stitch pattern that we've had a lot of success with. And uh, don't freak out, but Yes, orange sole stitching. Uh, we've had, it's not just an oddity, we've had tremendous success with this on the retail level as well. Uh, leather sole boot, good little style. Um, the uh, sister to that one is our uh, S1101. Again, going with the American Bison. This is a new leather called Rockin' Red Thunder. You'll notice the hand sewn zigzag stitch pattern on the top with a black collar, black side seam and trim, leather sole. All these boots are built off of our DB toe, uh, one of the main driving forces between the wide square boot um, in, in, uh, in our market and double welt stitching. Um, this has been probably our top seller. We brought in some uh, exotics for the first time or elephants for the first time in our Anderson Bean line. Terra Vintage Elephant uh, with a new leather called Turquoise Skid Row. It's a goat skin so it's, it's got a great hand to it. It's nice and soft. Uh, a lot of depth to it in color, got a black and we brush it off and bring the turquoise out. Trimmed in white like we do a lot of ours, again the Smackdown sole. This boot is built for wear and tear. Good elephant foot, uh, been our number one selling elephant leather with that sole. Uh, good little boot right there and this has actually been one of our best sellers out of the new line. We came for the first time ever with offering a, a boot built in stock for ladies. Uh, usually we most of our stuff is built more for men. Um, this little boot we trimmed all out in pink with a black full quill. We went out and made a big buy on some ostrich and it's allowed us to really bring our ostrich prices down. These ostrich boots should retail in the mid threes where a lot of times we were up in the 400s for uh, retail on our ostrich. Um, it's got a, um, a tooled looking top on it embossed. Um, we call it actually a, um, a, 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 
embossed black um, silver, a uh, silver tongue uh, embossed, which uh, has a real neat look to it. It's a lot softer than a lot of your normal tooled and embossed looks. Um, that's the S1094. Another black full quill geared a little bit more towards the men. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. This rust lava top, incredible stitching on it. Again, nice price point for a full quill double welt stitch. Uh, great hand, great look. You'll notice a lot of depth to these tops. Um, not a lot of kid skins anymore. We're really going to some, some different looks that uh, provide a lot of shelf appeal. S1098 is that black full quill ostrich boot. Uh, a couple more brown ostrich boots. Um, this is the S1099, real great rum brown mad dog ostrich, again with the price point, again with the top, a lot of depth to it. This is an Italian tan volcano leather, bringing in the old mango side seam and trim, real popular in the 70s. Uh, we feel like that may be coming back, and not over the top with a real bright and bold, but a great tone on tone boot. Uh, gives that gentleman that's looking for a little bit more of a of a classier looking boot for a full quill ostrich boot, a great shelf appeal, leather sole, double wall stitch. Um, another new full quill ostrich that we came out with is a cigar Mad Dog ostrich. Uh, this is an ocean wipeout top, trimmed out in blue and yellow. Uh, got a little bit of shelf appeal with some colorful side seam and trim, uh, double wall stitch, good looking boot, S1102. And rounding out our ostrich, this is actually one we've had in the line, but because we went out and made this buy on ostrich, this is going to bring that boot into a mid $300 price point. Brandy Mad Dog, this has been a staple in our line with a bone Mad Dog top. Great looking boot. So we've got your blacks and your browns covered and a nice little cognac as well. And rounding out our new program is Cayman Belly. Uh, Cayman had gotten so expensive, um, we ended up coming in and figuring out with a new system. This does have an alternating heel counter on it. Uh, but that's allowed us to get our Cayman boots to actually retail into the mid uh, $400, where a lot of times we were up in the five five seventy. So this is a great price point, chocolate oiled Cayman belly. You'll see the bison on the top, and a great hand to it, a lot of depth. Again, with the alternating heel counter, this is a nice oil tan leather that's going to wear very well. You're not going to have any issues with any cracking on that Cayman belly skin. And the final Cayman is a dark chocolate Cayman uh, with the bone mad dog top. Great tone on tone look, nice classy little boot, alternating black smooth ostrich heel counter, gives you durability and comfort. Uh, great little addition to our stock program. So um, I think we got some good fun stuff for you and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look and uh, we'll see you next time.